not able to be here today. So, I'm filling in last minute. So, uh, of course, they gave me the most difficult topic. Okay. The topic of liberation. So, I was thinking about liberation and how in this culture we think about liberation and freedom to pursue uh, our careers, our good livelihood, we have uh, freedom to have a good, happy family life, to be free from oppression. This is what we think about in terms of freedom in this culture. And also, this is the most affluent culture in the world. And maybe in the history of the world, the most affluent. But at the same time, sometimes we lose sight of the most important virtues. For instance, the virtue that sets us on the right course towards liberation. The very first step towards liberation is the step of generosity. So in all of the Buddha's teachings, when usually when the Buddha gave the progressive graduated course of the seven different stages of the course, he didn't start with the Eightfold Path, or he didn't start with the Noble Truths. He started with the principle of first teaching people the importance of generosity, then morality, then the realms, etc. In the same way, in the Bodhisattva Path, the very first of the six Paramitas is the Paramita of Generosity. This is so important. And actually, the greatest generosity is the feeling that we get when we give to others. This fills the heart in a way that nothing else can. So only through the path of generosity can we reach this ideal of liberation. So when we practice, we need to begin to look within ourselves and find that feeling of generosity within us. We can imagine how do we feel when we receive something that we really need? And how does that feel when we receive it? How does it feel when we give something to someone that they really need? This is very special experience. Now, when I was a young man, only a few of you maybe are around to remember this, there was this fam famous psychologist, Abraham Maslow, who had a hierarchy of need. And the very base hierarchy of need, the very first, was uh, physiological. Without air, water, and food, None of the other levels matter. The next level, safety, and then emotional security. So the first one is this physiology. This is why being able to offer people who are hungry the means of being able to feed themselves, the technology and the knowledge to be able to receive that and to be able to care for themselves, this is such a very special experience. This is really liberation in the moment. We liberate ourselves every moment when we're able to give generously. We say that when we practice loving kindness, we liberate ourselves from ill will. When we practice compassion, we liberate ourselves from any feelings of anger or hatred. When we practice altruistic joy, we liberate ourselves from resentment. When we practice equanimity, we liberate ourselves from the up and down passions. When we liberate ourselves from signlessness, from being caught up in signs, then we realize we don't have to be superstitious or think that this sign means this or means that. We're free from that. All of these things lead us to the realization when we recognize this is not me. This is not mine. This is not who I am. This is a liberation from 
suffering and distress. It's difficult to get there, so to begin with, we practice the small step of giving to those who are least fortunate. And a little funnier note, I noticed that there's a new diagram out from Maslow's hierarchy. Below the physiological level, they now say, most important, Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> little scary. <laughs> so, as we go forth today for our last ste steps, as we move forward, we recognize that it is our own ability to let go of our individual self, to think of ourselves as interconnected to all beings everywhere, that really is the steps towards our own liberation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andre, for coming all this way and being generous with us for these teachings. <laughs>